What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew, this is Aggie, here at Nexus Jiu Jitsu in Folsom. And today we're gonna to talk about floating passes, heavy hands, light hips, variations of passing. We're gonna look at three different options from a, basically a staging position of when we get to the heavy hands, light hips position. Um, I really like this style of passing because I think it exhausts the person on bottom. As long as your legs are in the right configuration, you can kind of float there on top of them for some time and they don't have a whole lot of recourse. The only real option they have is their inside leg. They'll either lift with it, keep it curled. They might try to push you around with their hands. But really what I found from the proper staging position in the floating style uh, passing or heavy hands, light hips scenario, if you do it right, they don't ha everything that they try to do puts them in a worse position or gives me another option for a pass. So we'll check out three options based on what they do with their inside leg. So we're gonna start from kind of this seated guard style position. Now in general, I don't like to try to pass against this. I will, um, especially if she reaches for me with her legs or something, I will do different kinds of passes or cartwheel passes. Sometimes I'll grab the wrist, tuck it under their own leg and start passing to that side, things like that. But really where I want her is on her back. So what I like to do is keep my feet right out of range of her feet. If she reaches for me with her foot, and her leg straightens, that's good for me. So reach, now I can step all the way to the hip line, right? So a wise person in jiu-jitsu is not gonna extend their own limbs. For me, that I'll have to purposely extend their limbs, right? So they'll keep their legs kind of retracted and then I overbear over them with my upper body and I start attacking the head, okay? What I'll do is go clubs to the side so I make her post. Now the hands are busy, I can get to the legs. I'll club right in front of the face. I'll snap the head down so I can't see what I'm doing. As their head comes up, I'll dip down to the ankles, pull them to me, and set them to their back. In nogi, I'm not hugely into doing this because now she grabs my wrists and she has connection now, right? She can pull me and start playing different kinds of guards, right? I more so like to play right out here, right? I don't let her sit back up. I don't let her come up. I don't let her back roll. I keep her kind of here and I just play this kind of patty cake game until I'm ready to get into my heavy hands, light hip scenario. What I'm gonna wanna do when I get to the, the position uh, for the passing is I'm gonna wanna step, I like to go lead with my left leg. I set my left leg shin all the way to her right hamstring and I'll press her left leg down and step over it and clamp my knees and sit my hips in. So I'm kind of sitting on her hook here, right? It's important, can you turn your head? It's important that when I get to this position, the, the leg, uh, leg position is basically a 50-50. Once I get here, it's important that I don't let this foot back out, right? So what I like to do, I put my hands in two places. I go inside knee, top of the knee, and I pinch my knees and squat my hips in. Now I have real good control of this leg and I can kind of uh, harass her hips, right? And if I want, I can start a knee cut pass right now, right? So we'll see where all that kind of fits in. So I get her to her back, playing here. I step in, crunch this down, step over it, pinch my knees, get my grips and squat. And now what I'm gonna do here is start dropping my inside knee onto her thigh to staple her leg and bring my hands heavy over her head. Push on my knee. Like try to get it between your legs. Push, 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 really push. <laughs> That's what I want. I want this staple, yeah? It shouldn't be very comfortable. I can't push my knee. I can't let this happen, where she pushes my knee back between her legs and starts playing half guard options. Or maybe she gets a butterfly hook in and now she's playing double butterfly. I can't play that. So when I get this position, I'm heavy with this knee. Here, boom. And my, hip, my hips are light, and my hands are heavy, okay? A lot of times, the first thing someone tries to do is elevate you with this leg, because what other option do they have, right? This is why I love this position so much. Her, Main option, what most people try to do is they try to elevate you with their hips or with their leg. Now her leg straightens, I can tuck this knee behind her knee and come through to smash pass or leg weave pass or whatever you want to call it. From this position, um, now that we're uh, in just this really powerful passing position, sometimes I'll go to mount here or I'll really tax them. So if I, let's say I can't get this underhook, right? She's turned towards me. She's strong here. I can't get this underhook. I can't get the cross face. What I'll do is bring this elbow down behind her head to keep her head in front of me. And now I'm going to slide my knee out. See how that extended her foot? Watch this. Bring your foot. 
I slide my knee out so it exposes this foot. And now I can do one of two ways. I can scoop it with my knee, which is really uncomfortable for their knee, or I can scoop it with my shin and foot and extend their leg over their head. <laughs> if they're not flexible, this is brutal. And I can walk, 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 and just make it worse and worse and worse. That's why I love this position. So once I get their foot out of position, I hug below their leg and stack my hands like a cradle. And now I'll bring my head forward and hips up so I can circle around behind them. And now I just extend my arms, right? <coughs> We're here. I'm just stacking. I'm not grabbing, stacking. And I extend my arms. See how that puts her knee right into her eye? I love that, yeah? So it's a really good pin. And now if she, if she tries to turn towards me, it's almost impossible. She's side on. So when I go knee on belly here, it goes right on the floating ribs. Brutal, brutal, right? This is what I want. If she's flat and I go knee on belly, that's annoying. Not nearly as bad as when she's side on, I'm right on those floating ribs. So I really love that option if they extend their leg, right? Okay, so another good option we're playing here. I've gotten her to her back, right? I'm playing at this level. I step in here, step over the leg, pinch my knees, holding, and squatting. I come over, hands on the mat, heavy hands, light hips, and she doesn't extend her leg. I feel it. Okay, well what that tells me is most likely her foot, the inside foot, is a little lazy. I'm going to lean my weight forward and pommel my laces over her laces, right here. And now I'll bring my hips up, extend my leg through, and bring her leg all the way through. Right? Let's look at that from a different angle. We're here. I got her on her back, playing, I step through, shin to hamstring, stepping over, pinching, squatting, playing here. I come over, heavy hands, light hips. I feel that the leg isn't extending. Okay, hips come forward, foot pommels over, laces to laces. My hips are going to come up, I extend through, here, boom. I'm going to keep this connection for as long as I can. I drop my knee, here, straighten your leg, it's very hard. If I let this go, she's just going to trap my foot with her legs in quarter mount, a quarter guard, three quarter mount, which is not horrible. I can still pass, but I don't want to give her that opportunity. Yeah. So when I land, I keep this connection, trap my foot. She can't for a second. It's going to see how now she got it out. It's only going to last a minute. So come back. I hold this for this brief moment while I hug the head here, step my leg over and I can kick her leg away. And now I can find my mount, right? From a little slightly different angle. Playing here, stepping in, here. Coming through, finding the laces to laces, extending it and keeping it here. And now I hug the head, step my leg over and I kick her leg down. And now I can find an easy mount there, okay? That's another really good option if they're not extending that inside leg, okay? The last one we're gonna look at is a knee cut. Okay, all at the same position. I'm playing here, I've got her on her back. I'm stepping in, sh uh, shin to the hamstring, pressing this down, coming over, pinning. Okay, we're in this good position. I can't stay here long. Yeah, she's gonna be dynamic here. So I wanna go here, quick. I can't get this one. I can't get to this. Maybe she's keeping a good connection with her leg to my body, but she's not lifting. Okay, I'm gonna get the underhook on the inside leg side here. And I just like to put my hand flat on the mat. And now I'm just going to rip everything across to here. Okay. When I get to this position, I keep my butt to my heel. I don't go like this because now she traps my foot with her legs. Not good. Okay. Trap my foot with your legs. She can't because my butt is to my heel. Yeah. I have the underhook. Okay. Now I'm going to look to either go over the head or hug the head. It's up to you. And now I slide out getting to my pass, don't make the mistake of going to your knees here because now she can bring her left knee inside and recover. So as soon as I finish the pass, I'm going to run my hips back, scoop her hips up with my knee and stabilize my pass. All right. All right. So uh, as far as passing goes, there's tons of methods to pass, right? There's front headlock method, Kimura trap method, fundamental starting position method, body lock method, open passing Toriandos and long steps and cartwheels. And there's just so many methods to pass. This is the floating uh, heavy hands, light hips method of passing. And within each method, there's tons of variations. 
I just showed you three variations off of the heavy hands, light hips, floating pass. If they extend their leg that's on the inside, we go to smash pass or leg weave, right? If they keep that uh, leg kind of loose, we can go to laces to laces style passing straight to mount. If they're keeping their leg connected but not lifting with it, we can't get to the laces, we can't get to the smash pass, we're just gonna turn it into a knee cut, right? All from the same position, all with us on top of them with gravity, and they're just exhausting themselves, trying everything they can. Most of the time, they'll be trying with that inside leg, which will make it very easy to beat. Uh, heavy hips, light hand style passing means my arms are doing a lot of the work, which is okay. It's, it's worked for 80 years in jiu-jitsu, right? But if you can go heavy hands, light hips, now you have gravity on your side and the ability to use your legs to pummel with, which is just way stronger, way more dynamic, and I find it to be a lot more successful. So try those out. Let me know how they go. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or want to see something in the future, throw it down in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, I'm Andrew. This is Aggie. We're here at Nexus Jiu-Jitsu in Folsom. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. <clears throat>